Hi, I'm David Carradine, and you're watching Music Industry Television. Hi, I'm Christina Ruffalo, Director of Artist Relations with West LA Music, where the pros shop, and you're watching Music Industry Television. This is Daniel with Sure Incorporated, and you're watching Music Industry Television. Hey everybody, I'm at the Grammys Producers and Engineers Wing and I just happened to bump into the amazing Phil Ramone and Hank Newberger. How are you guys doing? We're, We're doing good. Great. We're happy it's to be Grammy here. It's Grammy week. Let's talk a little bit about, um, about the, tonight's event. I mean, Thomas Dowd and all these great guys. Talk a little bit about why you're here to sort of pay homage to them. Well, Tom Dow was my mentor, first of all, and Ahmed Erdogan, Jerry Wexler, Nessui Erdogan, they were the first customers. Your first customers? My first customers as an engineer. Yeah, it was, it was very momentous for me. Well, he was one of the most personable guys. It, it just first lesson for any of us is how to talk to musicians. You know, I, my respect for good engineers, Hank, all of us learned one thing. You don't, it's not charm, it's more about how you care. And you can't make a good record without a good musician. And I've seen people not understand that. And I saw Tommy when things would go wrong in the studio. You wrap his arm around you said, let's go out there and have a chat with the boys. You know, or a, a wonderful girl singer would be going through fright and whatever else goes on. And uh, she would be upset in 20 minutes. We not only have her sing good, but have the confidence of what the team could do. And that was kind of the policy of people who recorded for Atlantic. He, he set the tone. He really set the tone for all of us. Phil talks about Tom Dowd being who we're recognizing tonight at the P&E event, being his mentor. He's my mentor, so I feel I'm kind of second degree Tom Dowd was my mentor because he's my mentor. And also you said, which I never heard you say before, that one of the things you got from Tom Dowd was how to communicate to musicians, how to make them feel comfortable, and you got to see that. And that just blew my mind because when I think of you as a mentor to me, that's literally what I say about you. I've watched you communicate with musicians and shake my head in awe at the confidence you instill and the trust they have in you. And I, I go, ah, that's important to know. It's important to see. That's all it's about. And for you now, because I've never heard you say this, say that you saw that watching your mentor, Tom Dowd, mm. that's heavy. I'm getting that connection, the, th the, the through line to a lot of people who've worked with and for and around Phil. That's one of the first things we say. We see how Phil talks to musicians, how musicians trust you and how much they respect you and just feel comfortable when you're on the set. It's very, 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 we're all very aware of that. to you a little bit about your career. You also have an amazing career besides being mentored by some great people. Well, I, I mean, this is the one of the most fun weeks of the year we have, working around Grammy Week. There's so much stuff going on. The Grammy television show, which Phil and I supervise the broadcast audio. So if you're sitting at home listening to the show and it don't sound good, it's our fault. <laughs> but we actually are very proud of it because we really have a lot of resources there, creatively, people, technology. It's really good stuff that we have. And we get a, a, a soundtrack out now for people in their homes that's unlike anything 
anything you can get on any other music show. The Recording Academy has the best line of artists this year. It's over the top who's on this show. 22 artists. Right, I heard that uh, you have like 25% more artists and yet you only have the same amount of rehearsal time. Is that is that true? Yeah. Right, that's correct. So our guys are all working a little more focused, concentrating. We don't have quite as much time, but we've got, Phil and I have developed some techniques in the way, I mean, Phil is known for pushing technology and being a groundbreaker and being a leader, and literally that's what we've done on this show for 20 years. He and I have been involved with the broadcast audio for 20 years. He was actually involved with it way before that for a minute, too. But Those we, great big knobs, right? Right, right. right. Uh, but really pushing the technology, and we have some stuff going on in this show which no other television production has anywhere in the world. It's, it is the most complicated audio production of any television show in the world. And